So since it's the 20th anniversary of um, the Cold album being released, and I've had a couple people ask me for some insight into the recording process and of that album, I figured I would go ahead and talk about it now. So right directly before we recorded Cold, we had done the Burning Circle tour and Mike and Dave had relocated to Ohio and since we were still doing shows um, we were staying at my parents house instead of getting an apartment because it was kind of a waste since we weren't really going to be around much so it was me Dave Mike my mom and dad my brother his girlfriend and their infant daughter all living in my parents house and it was my parents house was very small three bedroom, one bathroom, and small. So that was an interesting um, <laughs> situation. And um, I don't even know how we all fit in that house, to be honest with you. Um, but so it was kind of like a transitional period. And when we, I think that was, we would also, <laughs> Mike, Dave, Mike, me and Dave would sit in my room and watch the OJ trial like we would go and get ice cream and Halloween candy I think I remember eating Halloween candy and sitting in um, my bedroom piled on my bed that was just a mattress on the floor and watching the OJ trial and I remember watching the um, verdict and just being like what the fuck just happened <laughs> so random um, so that was like what we used to do and um, Dave was staying in my old bedroom, which was so small, like so little. And so he was off doing his kind of being alone thing in his bedroom. And that sounds way more pervy than intended, but he was kind of like, I think we were all kind of starting to get tired of each other at that point. So he was, he would hang out in his room and oh, another sidebar. It was so hot that summer. My parents didn't have any air conditioning in the house. So it would just be so hot and that was a really hot summer, the summer of 96 I believe. And anyways, that's neither here nor there. But so Mike and I would be in my bedroom and I, I would be watching some stupid OJ trial or something equally as um, random. And so he was, he started working on songs for the album then um, just kind of fiddling around on the synth and sometimes he'd have me hold a note down on the computer or on the synth while he messed around with guitar parts but 100% it was Mike. I am not in any way shape or form involved in Lycia music. Um, there was a, I think there was a misconception about that um, at one point. So anywho, so that's how we started um, started working on cold and originally it was supposed to be a 50 50 collaboration between Dave and Mike um, but and I'll get into that a little bit down the road so Mike started record started working on songs then come the fall time um, why were we eating Halloween candy in the summer People need to stop putting Halloween candy out so early. Anyway, we moved into an apartment in Streetsboro, Ohio, and our apartment was on the third floor on the back of the complex overlooking um, a line of trees and then a really big woods and field behind it. And side note, that field is the field that I describe in Violent Violet in her visions that she has. That's the field that I always envision when writing that part. Um, so back to the story. So we lived in this apartment. We had third floor facing this woods. And um, by this point, we were really starting to get sick of each other. Um, Dave was going through whatever Dave was going through, which wasn't really communicated to us much. So from I and I won't speak for Mike I'll speak for myself from my point of view it seemed like Dave really just didn't want to be involved anymore and it was frustrating 
because like we went and did the typo tour without him he didn't want to play shows anymore and that was really a big part of Lycia at that point and he was just kind of ostracizing and it felt like he was doing things like intentionally to irritate or something um, and I'm sure he probably felt the same about us so there was this definite divide and rift and we all had to live together so it was very frustrating and awkward and Dave mostly stayed in his room and we mostly like pretty much like ran around like we stayed gone a lot um, well it came time to record and it was winter time oh, and we had a really hard winter that year there was a lot of snow it was very cold so we had set up well Dave had set up the studio in the living room so our view from the studio was um, that woods and it was very stark and very cold and the mood in the house is very stark and very cold and so I really feel like that all of that um, really soaked into the music and everybody's mood and um, it was really really hard to record because we were on different schedules and it felt like Dave didn't want to be involved most of the time but we had this commitment to this album and he didn't it was supposed to be the 50 50 collaboration like I mentioned earlier but he didn't like any of the songs that he was bringing in and he just it felt like he just kind of wasn't there a lot of the time so it ended up being that Mike did more of the music than originally planned and I think there was all these like weird resentments and um, whatnot um, but that whole album was a pain to record um, like trying to get everybody's schedule together and um, even down to like the equipment um, if you listen to the song later there's this really cool effect that sounds like it's warped but really what that was like literally what that was was Dave's um, multi-track was dying and I think there was even like mold growing in it or something and so that effect is not an effect it's like the tape was warped but I mean it turned it up it, I, like I personally think it sounds awesome but yeah that was not a happy thing at the time Mike is very anal retentive about um, things being perfect and I think that really bothered him and even down to like the cover art like we didn't get the cover art that we wanted if you look at the original art there's that cow that cow um, little tiny cow on it that's what we wanted as the cover like the the pictures that came with all of that there was these amazing photographs of cows um, and the colors were amazing um, from this I don't even know who it was it was like some photographer from Italy I'm not sure who it was but they were amazing pictures and the label didn't want them so they threw us a bone I guess by putting them small elsewhere on the album but um, that was frustrating for us and the whole album was just frustrating because we weren't getting along with Dave and it was super frustrating awkward in the house and um, finally you know we finished recording and everything and Dave left and he moved back to Arizona and so the album was done Mike basically thought it was a complete failure and he was so frustrated he, did, he didn't listen to the album for at least a year after it came out he just thought it was an absolute failure and the irony is that probably because of all that weird tension it added to the, the songwriting so it ended up being like a good thing or whatever um, so that's my story of cold um, we recorded it in this apartment with all this tension I can't remember if I told the story I, I'm pretty sure I already told the story but about recording Polaris and having the lady below pounding on the ceiling I think I told that story my memory's horrible um, just telling you that in advance um, so yeah that's the cold story um, it's probably not that exciting for anybody but I was asked to share by a couple people so I did 
And I hope it was um, enlightening, and I hope I've enriched your life with vast knowledge of interesting facts about cold. Um, sidebar, um, that apartment was awesome. We used to have, like, this is a funny story. So we used to have all these little animals that would be in the grass and stuff below our, our um, this is so funny, um, our apartment. And, like, we used to throw, like, bread and stuff down to them. And the, the people below us put, like, bird seed out and everything. So we would kind of sit out there and watch these little animals and whatever. And so one day, <laughs> one day I see Dave out there and he's, like, throwing something off the side of the, um, the balcony. I'm like, what are you throwing off the side of the balcony? He's like throwing chicken bones, like chicken wing bones off the side of the balcony. And we're like, what are you doing? And he's like, oh yeah, I'm going to like throw them down there for the deer. <laughs> that was just so funny. I remember laughing so hard at that. Like you're throwing chicken bones from our deers, but that was funny. Um, anyways, so yeah, that was our apartment in Kent or I mean in Streetsboro. And I sometimes wish I still lived there because it was a, it was a good time, minus all the drama. So uh, I hope this was very, very enriching to your soul. If you have any other questions about the album or about other albums or about life or about um, He-Man or Skeletor or Martian Manhunter or why... I, I'm not wearing glasses right now. Um, that's not an interesting answer, uh, question. Anyways, I'm getting re ridiculous. So, uh, bye. Later, skater.